This video is a walkthrough of the storable customer setup slash transfer of ownership form. Please fill out the questions below. Once we have received your form, we will promptly email you a quote. If you have any questions with this process or this specific form, please reach out to billing at sitelink.com or if you have received a response from a specific team member from the sales support team, you will then reach out to that person. For each of the fields, you'll want to fill them out. The majority of the fields have a red asterisk. If it has a red asterisk symbol, that means that the field is required. So you will go down each of the fields and type in your information. The first field is the facility name. This is the name that your site goes by. The next area is the facility address. This is the physical address of your site. The next is country. If you notice, if I don't put in a value for country and I click on the next field, it'll tell us that the field is required. Again, look for the asterisk to put in that information. When you've put in your information in the field, click into the next area. The number of units would be the number of units that you want the software program to allow you to have. For example, if you have 500 units, type in 500. If you have 500 units, but you're going to be expanding to 1,000 units, and you want the software to be able to handle 1,000 units, type in 1,000. Point of contact, this is the name of the person that you want sales support to be in contact with throughout this process. You'll notice with some of the fields, when you highlight it, there's a little bubble that comes up on the right. In this case, it says, this will be the main point of contact during the implementation process. Hit the tab key on your keyboard to go to the next field, or you can click on it with your mouse. Point of contact email. This will be the primary email used for communication during the implementation process. Point of contact phone number. It has the area code with the phone number. This will be the primary phone number used for communication during the implementation process. It's extremely important that we have correct information in terms of who the point of contact person is, what their email is, and phone number. That way, we can get in touch with you expediently throughout this process. Are you purchasing a facility that is currently using SiteLink Web Edition or Storage FMS? Click the drop down, and you have four different options. Yes, this facility is currently using SiteLink Web Edition. Yes, this facility is currently using Storage FMS. No, this facility is using a different management software. No, this facility is not using any software. Choose your option and go to the next field. What management software are you converting from? Type in the name. What software will you be using going forward at this facility? Choose from the dropdown, either SiteLink Web Edition, Storage FMS, or choose other. If you choose SiteLink Web Edition or Storage FMS from the list, you will have additional options. Do you wish to clone an existing facility software settings? Yes or no? If you click yes, which facility would you like to clone from? Put in the facility name. What is your SiteLink corporate code? The corporate code is found in the upper left-hand corner of the SiteLink program, and it will start with a C. Location code preference. This will be either three or four at maximum letters, numbers, or combination of letters and numbers. If you leave it blank, we will assign a numerical order. Typically, we start with L001, and then your next site would be L002. But if you wanted a specific name, you could put whatever four letter or number combination works for you. The same thing goes if you're choosing Storage FMS. You'll have different options. Do you wish to clone an existing facility, yes or no? If so, which facility would you like to clone? And then you can continue on going forward. If you click on Other, it will pop down another field for you to put in the other software provider. 
What merchant provider will you be using at this facility? Choose from the dropdown. Sitelink Merchant Services, Select Merchant Solutions, SBOA Merchant Services, Storable Payments, or Other. If you choose Other, it will pop up a new field to put in the other provider name. What website provider will you be using at this facility? Choose from the dropdown. Storage Voyager, Other, or None. If you click Other, it will pop up another option for you to type in. If you choose None, you can then go to the next area. Will you be using SpareFoot at this facility? Choose yes or no from the options. Are you interested in adding a paid service where we build your facility map? Additional charges may apply, yes or no. Will you be using tenant insurance at this facility? Click on the drop down and there's a list of different providers that we work with. Click the provider that you'll be using or choose other or don't know. Will you be using a gate software provider? If yes, which provider are you using? So if you choose yes, put in the provider name. If you are not using a gate provider, type in no. What is the projected day you would like to start using your software products? It's important to, to recognize that implementation of storable products will take between two to four weeks after signed quote, billings information and settings information are received pending availability. With that said, choose the date by clicking on the little calendar icon. If you have additional comments, please type them in and then click submit. Once you've clicked submit, it will be sent to our billing team and then they will then contact you. If you are in the middle of this process and you didn't fill out everything, you can click save for later. If you click save for later, you can save your progress either by signing up with Google, signing up with Facebook or signing up with an email and you can then log back into it, but preferably you would answer all these questions and submit it all at once. Again, if you have questions, reach out to billing at sitelink.com unless you've already received a specific contact from our team. At that point, reach out to that particular person.